Hello, my foodie friends. Welcome back to Foodish, where foodies come to be foodies. I'm your host, Jaren Crispy Olson. In today's episode, I'm going to start off a bit differently. I have a confession to make. I have a confession to make. You ready? I am a Grinch. <laughs> you heard me correctly. I am a Grinch. But not only am I a Grinch, but I am the Jim Carrey Ron Howard version of the Grinch. And the Jim Carrey Ron Howard version is also by far one of the most quotable movies of all time. And of course, just like in the movie, it's not the actual day that I have a problem with. I mean, I don't know if it's because my head is just not screwed on right, perhaps my shoes are on just a little too tight, or maybe it's just because my heart is just two sizes too small. But this whole Christmas thing just exhausts me. From the repetitive, catchy Christmas songs that dig into your brain until you spew out rhymes in your sleep, to the long lines at any store when I just want to get groceries, even to the manufactured inflation of the item cost, just a nickel and dime everyone. All of that just it gets on my nerves. But after all that Christmas cheer that starts in October for some reason, even the Who's of Whoville knew to enjoy Christmas just for one month, not shove it into three, just to, I don't know, brainwash us into this holiday spirit for money. However, there's one thing that lets the bleeding hearts of the world unite. Well, and you know the answer to that. <laughs> Food! And of course, it's not just the food, but it's the food when I'm surrounded by my family and, and just like the Grinch, that does make me feel toasty inside. Now, in honor of how all busy we are all for all these three months, and my hero, Jim Carrey's the Grinch, I give you the Who Roast Beast. It only takes two to three hours to make, and once you pop it in the oven, you shut the door and you leave it alone. So it literally takes a little time to prepare. You don't have to fuss with it to cook. And it comes out delicious and will impress all of those Whovian in-laws. Now, all you need is a three to three and a half pound rump roast. And yes, because of the world today, that is going to be a bit pricey. But I promise you, once you bite into this roast, you and your family will be like, help me, I'm feeling. It's that damn good. Now there's two important tricks to a roast. The first being, you have to let the meat reach room temperature before you cook it. This allows for far more even cooking. And the second one is once you're done smothering the outside with olive oil, salt, uh, uh, rosemary, thyme, you put it on the middle rack in your oven and you put a baking sheet on the rack below it. Now, this is extremely important. And yes, it may be freaking you out, but don't worry. This just allows for a convection style cooking to cook all around the roast. So you don't actually have to braise it. You literally get to cut out a step and you get all those yummy num nums on the baking sheet so that you can make gravy. Now, once the roast hits about 135 degrees in the middle, you pull it out, you tent a piece of tinfoil on it, and just like steaks, you need to let it rest for at least half the cooking time, which is probably gonna be about an hour, depending. This lets all the flavor and juices reconstitute into the meat and it distributes it evenly. That's very important for a good roast. Then you take the num nums and heat it up, put in some flour, some beef stock, and you whip up a very, very, a very creamy gravy. And just like the Grinch, you slice it, you plate it. How simple is that? You can make most sides within the last hour of cooking. So you can spend the two hours before, I don't know, opening gifts, um, eating because you're bored, or sitting in a cave trying to escape the madness of it all. Now I also have a Grinch inspired drink for you. Not only, okay, well it's not really green, but it is spicy and it's a little sweet. It's got mint, it's got vodka, it's got lime juice, it's got jalapeno slices in it. It completely encompasses the idea of the Grinch. It's tangy, spicy on the outside, but sweet on the inside. 
I hope you have a wonderful Christmas or any holiday you prefer to celebrate during the time of winter solstice. And for me, I'm gonna go eat food with my loving family, drink, and watch The Grinch. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>